All right, this is third grade, module six, lesson one. And in this lesson, students are going to be generating and organizing data. Uh, specifically, we're going to be talking about tallies. Uh, we're going to be talking about picture graphs, where you use pictures to represent like a certain number of people. And uh, so let's just get started on this. So here we have two things. We've got the tally chart, and then we're going to put it into uh, a picture graph down below right here. So let's get the picture graph out of the way and let's start focusing on the tally chart first. And the tally chart says uh, we've got a, uh, shows a survey of students and their favorite pets. Uh, oh cool, somebody likes lizards. And then each tally mark represents one person. So we're supposed to figure out how many people are there total. Well first let's look at the cats. And the idea is I want you to look and, and these Whenever we see this kind of a thing, we want our students to immediately recognize that as five. We don't want them to count all the individual little tallies. We want them to immediately see that this is five plus one more makes six. So that's just a counting uh, thing that we want our students to be pretty proficient with. Uh, so let's, let's get started on this. So how many cats do we have? Well, we have six. How many turtles do we have? And that might be a little hard because it might be a little small, but we can see we have four turtles. Uh, we have two fish. And now dogs, you can see uh, we're going to immediately start with five and then go six, seven, eight. So five plus three is eight. So we know that we have eight dogs. And then we have... How many lizards? We have two lizards. All right, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And so now the question, by the way, was, well, how many uh, total students were surveyed right here? So we need to add. Well, I'm going to look, and I'm going to see that 6 and 4 is 10. 8 and 2 is 10, so that's 20, plus an extra 2 is 22. So we can see that we have 22 students all together. So I'm going to move that a little bit to the side, and then I'm going to bring up our little picture graph here. And let's see, I'm going to get that picture graph up and to the front. All right, so there we go. And so let's see, right, I'll put it right here. Good enough. Okay, so use the tally chart over here, and we're going to make this graph. So the first one has been done for us. So we knew that we had six cats, so we have six little circles right there. So we know we have four turtles, so we need four dots for the turtles. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Now I'm trying to keep them as same spaced as the cats. So one, two, three, four, just to make it look uh, representative, you know, trying to make it show that six is indeed bigger than four, because I could stretch out the four, but I'm not, I'm not trying to. I want to be really as accurate as possible. We know we have two fish, so one, two. We know we have eight dogs. Oh my goodness. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dogs, and then we have two lizards. All right. So there is our pictograph. And then down here we have some questions. Same number of students picked. What? What are the same numbers? Well, it's the fish and the lizards. How many students picked dogs? We can see it right here. There's eight. Or we could look over here and see that it's eight. How many more students chose cats than turtles? Well, we know we have six cats. We know we have four turtles. So there's two more students who chose cats. Same kind of concept, um, but we still have um, this same picked, uh, tally chart. So that was 6, 4, 2, 8, and 2. And we had 22 students all together. But this time we are going to, let's see, use the, the tally chart, which is right here, to... Uh, complete this picture graph. So you could think of that previous slide, those circles, as a little bit of a picture graph because the circles are kind of like a picture, aren't they? Um, 
but we're going to do, this time we're going to use squares, and you'll notice the key thing. Each square represents two students. So it's kind of leading us uh, into multiplication, right? Because if you have six pets, uh, six cats, that means we need one, two, three squares to represent the six cats. To represent the four turtles, we're going to do one, two squares because each square represents two people. So two plus two is four. To represent the fish, we only need one square. To represent the dogs, we have eight dogs. So that's going to be two, four, six, eight. And to represent the lizards, it's just one little box. So using that pictograph from the previous screen, we're supposed to answer some questions. So what does each square represent? It represents two students. It says so right here. How many students does this represent? Well, that's going to be 2 plus another 2 plus another 2 plus another 2 plus another 2. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then how many more squares did you draw for a dog than for a fish? And it's 3 because um, there were supposed to be eight dogs and two for fish, and that's six. The difference between dogs and fish is six, so that's two, four, six. So that's the three squares. And that wraps up a fun one. Third grade, module six, lesson one, generating and organizing data. Although in this video, we mostly organized the data.